Here we go, fellas. Unbelievable. Flake white. Dick Blick or flake white? Dick Blick or flake white? Oh my gosh. Expensive. Is that one that labeled here? Is that for that that gun? No. No? No. What does it say? Chevy Corvette, all right. Chevy Corvette blue Tyco Magnum. Yeah, the races were fixed. Brian won but failed the drug test. Yeah, it was a bruising battle last night, guys. Hey, James Reeves, I got your special treat, my birthday gift. Thank you. Very cute. Very nice. I'll read it online, streamline. From James Reeves for my birthday, my 70th birthday coming up June 20th. Once upon a time, a very special person was born who was destined to change the world. Then you open it up, read, calm down, it's not you, it's Jesus. I think he'd want you to have a happy birthday though, eventually. Enjoy Tim, share with Brian. I try to share with Brian, but he never wants to accept anything I give him. 
Check these out, baby. Check these out. Oh my goodness. Oliva. Praise the Lord. Cute card. It was a good card. I'm going to save it. Awesome, awesome. Thank you, James. Put it in my cup. James Reeves. Very thoughtful. Yeah, I got a bomb last night. I gave a good description on the Instagram post. So if you want to hear what happened at the race and how it was fixed, check the Instagram post on ProTickerToys.com. Well, first, that's not, that's very unfair. Um... <laughs> Here we go. Very unfair. You guys saw the race. You saw how he acted when he would beat me. I don't want to see him. <laughs> what, what do you mean? That's your, your customer base. I got to order this stuff. I don't know whether... What I might have you... I do is order it and have you PayPal me the cost. Yeah, that's fine. And then I can pay him with PayPal. Grab one of these from you and help you balance up. Okay. Wonderful. Do you want me to take these out of yep. normal inventory? No, it doesn't matter. I, mean, I don't think, well, they're they're on that, but they're fly, they're on that sheet that's by the back in the okay. closet room. Free shipping on orders over for oh good. Round short handle, so four. That's like 10, five, that's 5, 10, 15, 20. Bob said, I loved it when Brian threw your car in the trash can. <laughs> <laughs> That's when we did the drug test and found out he failed. Right, yeah. <laughs> Go to ProTickerToys.com or ProTickerToys Instagram, and there's a description on the race itself. Turbo Walter White, yeah. Adam says, hopefully those model planes get hung from the ceiling soon. Hello. I'm not feeling well. Oh, hold on a second. No, are you kidding? I'll never get that. I think it's Crocker. Anyway, uh, we'll figure this out. Uh, it's um, if we have to have somebody there um, manning the the table and everything. This is on Saturday, right?
Right, that's fine. We'll have uh, we'll get a big table there. We'll get we'll have at least racing there, and then some other stuff. Um, yeah, we'll get it taken care of. No, we are. Yeah, we are. Yep. I've got one. I've got a 10 by 10. I'll bring mine. Hello, everyone. Yeah, that'd be good. Yeah, no, it'll be good. Now, what? Now, what is this for again? Oh, okay, got it. All right. <sighs> got it. Let them know. Actually, we got everything. Sh got everything shipped this morning. All righty. So we're just kind of doing some catch-up, and I got to do some ordering for art supplies. All right, that'll be cool. All right, well, we'll set up. We'll have a good setup. I'll get a guy abandoned it. Oh, you hope. All right, all right. See you later. Yeah, down the road. All right, bye. Okay. Well... Shoot, actually, I'm gonna get the
is this East Center Street or 114? Center Street. 114 Center Street. I don't know how many times I need to tell you that. I've told you a million times. A million? A million. At least a million. <coughs> okay. I, mean, I don't know how many times you want me to write the book. And this I don't is know Wayne? how many times you want me to fidget the fidgets. This is Wayne. Hey, po PayPal me this amount. I, I ah, you think I'm just gonna? Yeah, just pay. Uh, I need to get this. Is, what? What do you need? We need to get approval in triplicate form. You need to sign it from Ryan, and then you oh, need to sign it. And then I need to Ryan sign it. on it. Nah. And then we need to get Bryant sign it. Oh God, just. You know what I'm I saying? I get free shipping if I get that. Are you kidding? Too much, huh? All right, give it to me. I'll, I'll do the painting. You got to get the paintings done. Thank you. No, you know, no, you've no been supplies. Forever to get no these supplies. paintings. Done. Okay, if I get one day, I'll, oh, don't, don't. Well, oh. I told you to go back there, but you know, you, know, you I come go. back in your team. You know, I'm gonna go, go live. Are you gonna go live? Are you gonna go live? Okay, don't go live then. Are you gonna go live? Are you gonna go live? Wait, don't, don't go live. You're gonna go live, you're gonna go live, don't, don't go live. You're gonna let go live. What are you gonna put your finger over the thing? Medication time. Oh, Medication please. time. <laughs> Just send that so I can put the thing in and, 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 and send it. Okay, fine. What do you want me to do? to drop what I'm doing? Yes, because you're not doing anything. What? What's wrong? Why? He's having, he's having problems today. You forgot it. Come on, James. I, he's. I don't he, this is normal, guys. You have to understand. This is normal. I have to deal with it. That's why I want to get out of here. You guys think it's fun? Well, it ain't. And tonight, though, James, to, for some R and R, I appreciate my birthday gift. I'm so excited with my birthday gift and my birthday card. I'm gonna keep that in my car and drive around and read it. Do you want me to read it again, guys? You want to read? My birthday card, my 70th. Hey, guys, good to see the guys. <laughs> oh. yeah, the problem is... Hey, what's the zip code? Where's your business card that has your address on it? 43466. Very simple. 43466. 43466. Four, four, Everybody's wondering what's your problem. What are these? Those are what? my... They're, they're all asking, what's your problem? No, they, I don't have a problem. <laughs> I don't have a problem. No, no. See, nobody <laughs> says, what's your problem? Oh. What's the problem today? There is no yeah. problem. Okay. They're, you know they're what the all... problem is? Here's the problem right <laughs> I here. I told you guys, That's I got to deal with it. Medication I can't time. deal with it anymore. I Medi really can't. Medication. I'm 62 Medi years old and I'm living with my brother. No, I'm, that doesn't make any I'm sense. I'm 70 years old and I'm counseling him. I can't handle it. I can't. I, I just. <laughs> well, you got to be happy. Need to be happy. Did you send that? I feel well. Did you send? Well, why? Well, it's what you because eat. Because you, 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 you. It's what you eat that oh, makes you please. feel bad. I had, I had eggs and bacon this morning. Okay, don't give me the eggs and bacon. No, it's your, it's your overall. Oh, your overall. I, I don't think that meat was good last night. It was that's, It was awesome. Yeah, you, you would say awesome when when the when you got on the train. You know what? I mean? It's just amazing. Oh, that's a lot so old. No, it isn't. It, it is. It's pathetic. I'm going to put my phone number in. Let's see, what is my phone number? Did you put that in yet? I, I have got other things I'm trying to get done. Well, I, knew, I, I, I know, but I... Shut up! <laughs> I need it now because i got to oh, order this. Pack sand. Because I, I want to get back to the studio to work on this. It's looking nice, though, guys. Check out the Instagram or my Facebook, and you'll see how the SC-355 is developing. Got a lot of comments from a lot of different uh, slot car enthusiasts from uh, Europe, Germany, one from Italy, I think one from Australia. But they all saw the Instagram. They liked the image. Thanks, Rob. Boy, Rob, you're just really always, you don't know the truth, Rob. I'm sorry. I'll pray for you, though. We'll pray for you. Hey, um, yes, I get Saint uh, Cecilia's gift. Your for Thank you, James. It was awesome. I, I, I know it's my I birthday was in June, all right? All yes, all James Murray. It's in June. Waiting for the coffee. Ohio. June twentieth, nineteen fifty-one. I'll be seventy. Twenty twelve or twenty eleven? 
Um, I'm trying to decide what to do on my birthday. I might go down to Myrtle Beach and sit on the uh, right the beach. You don't have anything? Uh, I'm over here, guys. I'm trying to make a trying to make an order for some art supplies. But check out the Instagram. Do you sell too or? Actually, I got a picture of the painting. I think I showed it yesterday, didn't I? Yeah, Freedom Train was definitely warming up. And it's toy one. Let's see if I have a good picture. A password that I need? Uh, I finally got a good uh, shot that. Uh, and how do we do that? You can see the on the bottom utility tray the three cars. How do I do that? And that's the oil painting that I'm working on. There are the three cars down there. That's the one I raced with last night. Then I raced a little bit with that one, but that one was the the one. I'm getting the hang of the racing. Click here. Uh, I'm terrible. <laughs> no, I want to but I like trying out different hats. Yeah. See, I got hats and goggles every Monday. Okay, great. I'll do that, and then you guys will get back with me, right? We're going to work yeah, on that this week. Get one a day. It's not once a week. It's not exactly moving along like I'd like it to. Right. Where's my water? Yep. All right, awesome. Thank you. No problem. Have a good one. I'm gonna have a cup of green tea. Do you want one? I had my uh, specialty coffee from James Murray this morning. Do you want some green tea? All right, let's see. Street adjust. Next. Shipping. I should get free shipping. That's not right. I'm supposed to have free shipping. Over forty-five dollars. Oh, I hate this when they do this. There he was in the shed. David wanders in. He's trying to figure out whether it was you or Tim. Uh-huh. And it was me. And so he was talking to me for a minute. Yeah. So. It was funny. He was asking me the most simplistic of terms. Yeah. In a rather That's how he does it. way. Yes. Uh, basically, how to start a business. So I think you might have another entrepreneur in your hand. Oh, CFDL. CFDL. No, I mean, uh, <sighs> definitely what's up to you. CFDL. <laughs> yeah. Okay, let's go back. Did he leave the shed when you left? What's that? Did you leave the shed? Did he leave the shed when you left? Yes. They're not supposed to be there when I'm there. Just so you know. Uh, 
gods. I forgot the tax, forty nine eighty nine. Okay, see now you, you. I can't handle it. That's not an emergency, but it's close. Is it? Well, go ahead and place the order. No, I need it in first. To put oh, so you don't have no cash? Correct. Then? I got Zippo in my. How, how, how is Because I don't possible? have any money. How is that possible? <coughs> well, I give it to charity and I give it to well, the Republican. You're now in charge of Tim. Okay, well, we'll start with the basics. 10% of what you earn is yours to keep. All right, I appreciate that. And here you go. And you can have 10% yeah, well, of that if you want it. If, if you have any outstanding debt, 20% of what you make is what you pay on. I don't have any outstanding debts. No, because he doesn't have any... He doesn't have I don't make bills. Debt. So if you put aside 10% of what you earn... Did you send that yet? No, I don't have it. Well, put it in there. Quick, because I need it to do this. Yeah, just, you'll end up with, uh, you know, I don't have anything to pay it with. Just send me that. Then when I get the notice, then I can submit my order. Don't worry about it. They're all behind me. Uh, so, James, you saw the Instagram, didn't you? The, the description of the race. <laughs> I saw your uh, comment on the in Pro Ticker Toys Instagram. Pretty good. Pretty funny. Did you send it? Let me check. Just checking. You could take that over to your thing if you want. Doesn't have to be next to me if you'd like. I got some green tea. That always makes you feel tea, good. You, you, it's just a liquid. You guys think tea is all... It, it has... All, green it tea has, has antioxidants it has in it. nothing in it. It's good for you. It is just... And you put a little tea. clove uh, it sprig in it. It is just liquid tea. It's it wonderful. It is just tea. Then why do you drink Coke? Little, why do you drink Coke? I don't... I Because I like the taste. Don't you like the taste of green tea? It's good for no, you. it tastes like dirt. And, <laughs> that green tea dirt. doesn't. And I have a little clove dirt. of spray or sprig dirt. of clove you put in it. Dirt. I mean, it's so disgusting. Look at Ron goes blah. Yeah, Ron in his box of crackers on the couch. I mean, he's got. I'm sure. There you go mocking people. I'm not. You know he's the one that just said blah. You, I was, you just have an issue. You want an apple? People. An apple a day keeps the doctor you away. You have an issue with people. You do. You really do. You. Oh, you James Rees, Brian, I have the SCX 880 uh, lap counter. I can send you for the 132nd track if you like. No, I have a lap counter. Oh, he has a lap counter. Well, I mean, it's... There goes Ron, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> there you go again, making fun of people. Right? Ron's the one that's, he's the one that's going blah, 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 blah not me. Always, you always go to defense. Oh, it's a... <laughs> You Tim, go back that. to the first it's helmet from last week's race. I have another one, another new helmet for next Monday. It's new, new helmet every Monday. Rod. I might wear the hat. I had the hat in the car, the other one, but it's still cool over here, so I just stay in warm. But I'll maybe I'll bring it in today or tomorrow. Maybe tomorrow when Ryan's here, we'll bring it and I'll put it on. I'm going camping tomorrow night. I know. Taking David and Frankie camping. That's that's awesome. 
I'm going to be... No talk about the race last night? I'll talk, guys. Ask me questions about it. Check my Instagram. It gives you a description of the whole race. James Reeves read it. It's on Pro Ticker Toys Instagram. Big splash. <laughs> iced tea season is upon us. I Iced tea, see, I like iced tea. I like warm tea. Three cups a day is good for the inflammation in the lungs. Oh, here he goes. Hey, I got some liverwurst back there, too, if you want some. That's got high vitamin B. Uh, David G wants to know where you're camping. I'm Far camping away. At, um, uh, That's good. Van Buren State Park, about six miles from here. What's it called? Van Buren. That's where... Uh, Van Buren State Park. There's one night. I'm just taking the boys out. We're going to go camping. He's taking the boys out. He's just going camping. And have a fire and just have fun for the evening. Just going to have a fire and have fun for the evening. Just get away. You know how he has fun. <laughs> See, there you go. There you go. You start attacking people. I'm not. No, I'm no, just. It is I, funny I, how you just attack people. You, uh -oh. Everybody you attack. You just attack. I bet you that's Gene made that comment. Yeah, that's Gene. Now you're talking to him. Liverwurst. Yum, yum, yum. <laughs> <laughs> They're asking. I'm just telling. You're just talking. You're a talker. I, I'm waiting for the 49.89 so I can send this in. You like to talk. <clears throat> you just like to talk. No, I don't like to be quiet. Oh, there it is. Okay, okay. I'm gonna send this. Brother, make sure I got it. Not a joke. Jeez, that's really weak. Okay. Uh, payment. I think I'm going to switch over to Blake. W at oh, what's, what's today? This is Tuesday. What do you call this Tuesday? What, what do you call it? Boring Tuesday. No, it's something with Ryan gone. What do you call that? Tuesday without Ryan? <clears throat> Tuesday non-millennial day? Please wait and we'll redirect you to PayPal. Oh, boy. Oh, you got to be kidding.
right, that worked. I'm gonna uh, I'm gonna do a fireside chat tomorrow night when the kids are in bed. It's gonna be a late night, eleven o'clock, ten o'clock maybe. So I'm gonna do a fireside chat. I'm gonna give you my opinion on the world, <laughs> <laughs> my philosophy on life. Oh boy! And um, <laughs> this why why I'm such a great person. Oh boy, you boy, bright colors before the fall. You better read your Bible. Hey, look at this. A Chia Pet Bob Ross. You, you don't like Bob Ross, Tim. No, I do. Look at the hair. It'll grow out of the... the, the uh, we should start selling those here. Huh. <clears throat> Gene says Polish sausage is good too. Clint says so Brian's punishing his boys by taking them camping. <laughs> Poor kids. <laughs> that's terrible. <laughs> that's what they, Who said that? That's uh, Clint. Clint Wood. Well, he's not getting anything from me ever again. My that's buddy crazy. Clint Wood. That's bad. You guys are starting to wise up. So do you tent camp, Brian? Hardly. It's a big RV. You might as well just haul us home, put us home on a rack and drag it over. It's a big RV. All the comforts. Yeah, it is. I like it, too. I wouldn't. I don't blame you. I did buy a new tent for Mark. It's really cool. Kind of springs up. It's very nice construction. What's that called? A gazelle? Yeah, a gazelle. Yeah, it's a nice tent. I like it. I like to get one. You can borrow that one if you want. I might borrow that if I go camping down there. <clears throat> very quiet day today. Well, we got everything done early. I'm going to head down to the studio in a minute. The guys wanted to say hi to me, though, and see how I was doing, if I was surviving okay. <laughs> oh, is this the one here? Okay. Let me take care of this. I'll show the guys how I do it. You don't want to watch Brian eat. First, I uh, check the order, check the car vehicle. Make sure that's it. Put my signature on it. Got that correct. Take the card. Reach over. Grab a couple of little freebies. A couple of freebies. Set that aside there. Get a box. Of course, I'll remove my birthday gift. Box out of the way. Take that. Open this. How do you break... How do you break up a Romanian party? Oh boy, I don't know, Gene. I don't know. How do you break up a Romanian what? Party. How do you break up a Romanian party? I think the answer will be coming shortly. I put this in here for cushioning. Very gently, though, with 
artistic cans, and I take this piece here. Oh, here's the answer. Flush the punch bowl. Flush the punch bowl. Ro oh, romaine, oh, romaine lettuce. Oh, gosh. Oh, oh man, that's his work. That, that, you know what? That takes, that's worse than Adam's jokes. That is really worse than Adam's jokes. That was the piss. Is it because of the romaine lettuce? Is that what, I mean, I... Uh, nicely pack that. Put that down. Shake to see if it's secure. Take my tape. Up and over. Down. Upside down. Not that funny. I agree, David. <laughs> it was, I mean, it was... It's as bad as, uh... <laughs> Yeah, don't give up your day job. That was as bad as Adam's jokes. Put that on there. White. Oh, where's my bag? <clears throat> yeah, that was pretty bad. Oh, flush the punch bowl. I still don't really get it, get it. You want me to, hey, you want me to go camping with you? Go with you and the kids? Just you and I together? Fireside chat? You want me to go with you? <laughs> I guess not. You start to get me. <laughs> Coma. Hey, what's this pistol, the airsoft? Who's that for? I'm waiting for it to clear. All right. Can I put it back over here then? Yeah. And is this a one ounce bag of pellets? Because usually you do five ounce. Yeah. So it's only one ounce? To see if this works after he fixed it. Go to history. Clear that. Right there. Now I hit Facebook. Feed. Hit that. There we are. It. Gosh. Uh. <clears throat>
normal guy. Oh my goodness. There was some viewers. <clears throat> Chucky B says drink moonshine smoke cigars break these kids in right <laughs> lots of laughs oh Aww. make some s'mores together that's what I forgot to order was s'mores hmm Do you have any marshmallows? We could roast marshmallows. Okay, we'll get that.
you want these? You said you want to stole three. Are you using that green? Yeah, I know. I need to bring them. David G, what are the, what happened? I love this question. You'll like this question. David G, what are the dates for the slot car festival? June 20th through August 2nd. June 20th through August 2nd? <laughs> that's, a, that's a month and a half. <laughs> August or July 30th through August 2nd. July 30th through August 2nd. I don't know how it's going to be. I don't know. It's going to be a mess. <laughs> it's going to be our first one. And, I, you know, whatever happens, happens. Boy, that's the truth. I mean, and he's constantly commenting. It's like a non-ending... You got that right, Bill. Check Instagram. If everybody goes to the Pro Ticket Toy, Pro Ticket Toys Instagram, on the last post on the Instagram, it'll give you a description of the race, a perfect description on how I was how I was slaughtered. And James Reeves is the only one I'm that I can tell has read it, reviewed it, and commented on it because James Reeves knows slot car racing. Yeah, it's Brian Young. I'm looking for Robert. Please give me a call back. I talked to you at Toy Fair last year before the world shut down about getting some Lionel sets. Please give me a call. I greatly appreciate Adam, it. Adam, Brian says a lot. So get used to it. It's going to be. I'll be gone. I'll be gone what? What are you talking about? I'll be gone. Huh? Well, when I get older, I'll be gone. When I get old, I'll be gone. I'll be well, dissipating. That, that has a brain. <laughs> okay. Okay. So then I'll give you. I'll see if I can get a description for you. Description Bill. of what? Oh, they wanted a description of the race last night. How you, uh, someone says you put dirt in my axles. <laughs> <laughs> or somebody. He just never. Bill Lynch, he says, uh, Brian clearly put dirt in Tim's car's axles, bearings, or something like that. So everybody. You no, know, it's. It's, uh, it's, it's very uh, simple. People. Very simple, people. You're the greatest.
explain to them. I'm going to show them a picture. Of I'm going to show and tell everybody why I am the greatest. <laughs> no, I mean, if you're, you know, there's nothing, there's no, there's no secret. If you're, if you think, and well, if you, you read your scriptures, it, no, I, and then it has nothing to do with scriptures. If does. you believe that you're a great person and that you are great, then there. Why not? What do you want to be? A what do you? No, I'm a loser all the time. Well, I'm depressed. a loser. You're depressed all the time. I'm a loser. You're unhappy all the well, time. Well, no, is that is that the philosophy, or do you do you want to do you why want do to you want to be unhappy? All no, the time? I'm not unhappy. It's just when I'm around you, I'm unhappy. Okay. <laughs> That's not what you're No, wife I mean, how says. do you say that? How That's do you how do you says? come up with comments like this? Because you're always you make negative. no. I am not negative. You know what? He is absolutely amazing. And you pat yourself on the back all the time. So I am. Greatest. No, I, I, yeah. I am a. I, I wouldn't say I'm great. I am a you great. Just sat there and all right, said I'm, I'm a, all right. Greatest. I'm the greatest. So you well, you know what? I, at least I'm not saying I'm a lo loser. I don't walk around. Saying well, I mean, you. <laughs> you know, I, I don't walk around. Why are you all upset now? I'm not upset. You have a nice dialogue and a nice conversation. Because you never inter you never shut up. You always I, interrupt. I, never, I can't say five words without you interrupting. No, that's not true. Well, it is true. Well, if the grace is last. No, time, no, I mean, guarantee. Were... I guarantee you couldn't shut up for five minutes. I can do that. No, you can't. Yes, I did. But I'm telling you, you can't. I mean, you could go around being a complete <laughs> loser. Go ahead and spit it out. <laughs> Whenever I did anything, I, I've i always had confidence. I've always walked around like, you know what? I can do this. This is easy. You know what? You know what? It, see, there he goes. See, that that's, he's going he's gonna to lose. He's going to have to comment. He's going to have to comment. He's, he's, now he's going to write it down. And that's cheating. You can't write it down, okay? It's amazing. I mean, there's one thing saying that you're great and you're not. Okay. So Timbo be Harper Marks for five minutes. Yeah. Yeah. That, that's about what he'll be is Harpo Marks. I knew I was a great person. <laughs> I I knew I was a great person when I was about 12 years old. Okay? Yep, -ery. When I was in the Navy, I knew I was great. Yep. I, it was a it was a it was a gift. I was given a great gift. And I don't know where that gift came from. But boy, he bestowed upon me a great gift. And you know what that gift is? Humility. <laughs> I am a very humility. I am a very... Per I I am a person... Okay, Brian Young. Oh, I gotta push the button first. <laughs> Brian Young. <laughs> Hello. Hello. No one's there. No one ever. Um, you have to have humility, and I have lots of it. Now I don't give it a lot. <laughs> I I don't really care about myself. <laughs> See, this is why he can't handle it. Okay. If I was all about myself and only me, 
This wouldn't be here, okay? <laughs> it wouldn't be here, okay? It's all about other people. It's all about other people, not me. It's nothing ever about me. I'll tell you right now. And I've been saying that uh, for a long time, okay? You people buy from, from this website because you, you think that I'm a great guy, okay? And I have a lot of humility, and I, I, uh, I'm a very compassionate person. I'm a very patient person. I understand people. I understand what they want. And that's what I try to give. So that's really all there is to it. Well, they found my other palette of product, and I'll probably get it on Friday. I didn't get enough sleep. What? Somebody sent me a message? Timothy Walter Young. I sent that. Still... I, I've read all these things. Brian, I think your noise, nose is getting longer. <laughs> Did you receive a block of the hotel rooms for us? There's plenty of hotel rooms around here, guys. Plenty. Okay. I got my order on Friday, and it was, it was great, too. See, that's what, Gene... See, people understand, hmm, this should be good. People understand this, okay? People understand, uh, people that watch me and follow me and understand me, they feel like they're, 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 that they're, they're sitting with somebody they've known all their lives, okay? A man that you could trust to the nth, It's all about trust. It's all about trust. Nothing else. Now, yeah, I mean, some people can be arrogant and some people can be pompous and all that, but I'm far from pompous and far from arrogant, okay? I have a... <laughs> what is wrong? I have a very, how should I say, even keel in my life. He can't handle it, okay? Because he's the one that's the, un see, artists are very unstable. And all you have to do is look at history about that, okay? They're very unstable. Now, I'm a person, I'm a, uh, I have dyslexia. So I had a, and I'm left-handed. So Lex hand, Lex, left-handed person and person with dyslexia are very intelligent, okay? They're, they're very, they're much higher than most people, okay? They, they kind of live on this other planet, all right? Now, doesn't mean that we are, um, it doesn't mean that we we think down of other people. It's just that we're thinking in a different dimension, okay? When I think, I think in different dimensions, and sometimes that gets me in trouble when I'm trying to talk to somebody uh, or trying to ex let them understand my vision, okay? They go, well, that can't be done. Well, yeah, it can't be done when you're thinking your way, okay? But if you think my way, okay, anything... NPD. What does NPD stand for? What is NPD? But when you think how I think, like, for example, you know, race sets, okay? Most hobby stores would never buy a hundred race sets. They'd never do it. 
okay? They would just think, you're crazy, Brian. What, why are you doing this? This, is, this makes no sense. That's because I think in a different realm, okay? I could show you 50 items here why I bought a ton of it, okay? And, and it's going to be selling from now until Ryan dies because it's just fun little stuff. Like all these model kits I bought. I'm going to be selling these for years. <laughs> Kids going to come in, hey, I want that. That's cool. And I'm going to have plenty of them at the great price. And I can say, here, you know, build one of these. Same thing with these race sets. I'm telling you, I was. this was a gift that I was given. I don't know where, when I was given it. Um, uh, I think I really knew something was odd about me you know when i we, we my mom lived in this apartment after she got the divorce she had to live in this apartment called imperial trace apartments and uh, i i had to live there with her and um it was probably the funnest time of my life is living there and i was a shoe shiner i shined shoes for at a, at a barber shop I was looking at two of those metal robots you have. Two metal robots. Metal robots. Metal robots. Uh, yeah, last weekend of July, that's it. I was looking at two of those, two metal robots you have. Metal? Metal robots? Oh, yeah, those are cool by Schilling. Yes, I'll show you those things. These are cool. These are by Schilling. Then they all, that's like Rob, Robbie the Robot. And then I have right here. These are all die cast, all metal. They walk, too. Hold on. Yes, vintage style. Yes, vintage. Uh, so anyway, that's that's kind of my pontification today. I mean, Tim is a good artist. Tim is a good artist. He knows how to draw, but he 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 lacks the confidence to be a great artist. Okay, if he would Focus on, if you let me be his trainer, I could train him to be a great artist, okay? He is a, he is, well, he is a great artist. He just can't get it together. And that's what I'm trying to do for him, is to get him to be a great artist, like Raw, uh, Ross, uh, like Bob Ross. And, and life, okay, the life and times of Brian Young, please continue, sir. <laughs> But I used to shine shoes. I would do anything. This was when I was amazed at a kid because I didn't have any money. And we lived in this Imperial Trace apartment. And I had, mom had no money. I mean, she was flat broke. And I remember times in the refrigerator, there was nothing. Do you want a vacuum later? Yeah. yeah. Right. There was nothing in the refrigerator. Let me tell you that. There was only a gallon of milk. I remember one day coming home from school and I wanted to eat something. All I had were crackers and jelly. That was it. That was it. There was nothing to eat. Okay. Now, this wasn't because mom, my, my, mom just, you know, we, we were trying to make do, you know. And uh, I always loved when my Aunt Rose would come over because my Aunt Rose would come over with, you know, bags of groceries. Oh, it was the. That was just. But I don't regret those, that time in the Imperial Trace apartment because I lived right next to Franklin Park Mall. Where are you going? Are you leaving? He's leaving. I can't take much more. He can't take much more. The BS is too high. The BS is too high? I literally, I, as a kid, I literally had a, a the dream of a life. I literally watched and was able to be in the building, I would go around collecting bottles. 
I literally was was lived right next to the construction of the Franklin Park Mall in Toledo, Ohio, from 1972 to 75. I literally watched that whole mall being built. Going outside? Did, okay. Did it just get less hypocritical in here? Yes, why? I don't know, I just noticed, like... Right, yeah, it did. Yes, yeah, less... <laughs> Uh, no, no, this guy's hypocrite. <laughs> they want to know where you're going. Oh, I they want you to come back and talk. Tim's car. going to to buy some new waiters. Hey, what? Yeah, Why are stands? <laughs> I don't understand. <laughs> U and M times. What about this? Yeah, that needs to be packed. But where's the the? Uh, I don't have it yet because I told you I'm waiting on confirmation that he placed the order. Then I'll let you do it. Oh, okay. Well, I mean, I don't know what. That's fine. I yeah. Get going. All right, go back and paint. I'm finishing my pontification story. Oh, what they want to hear my about? life story. I'm sure. I'm sure. Well, you have NPD, so. NP. What's NPD? I can't tell you. No. What is NPD? No, look it up. Ed, do you guys know what NPD is? NPD. Non. Anyway. Anyway, so I lived next to Franklin Park Mall, and I would do anything to raise money, okay? I literally, it was an art for me, okay, to make money. I remember in the wintertime, I would go to the mall with, uh, uh, you know, um, scrapers, and I would just go up to people's cars when they came out after uh, in the snow to their cars, and I would just clean their their, their windshields. I wouldn't ask for money. I never asked. I never asked for any money. I just would clean their windows and stand there. And if they gave me a tip, they gave me a tip. If not, I just would go to the next car. And so, you know, and, and I must have made, oh, it, the money I made doing that was crazy. Then I became a, a shoe shiner. I had my own little shoe shine kit. I, these barbers in Toledo let me to be a shoe shiner there. And, um, um, and so I was the shoe. Sh I was a shoe shiner there. Made tons of money doing that. Nickel, dime, fifty cents, a dollar here and there. So I was. I was able to make. I was able to to have fun. And then there was the hobby center in the Franklin Park Mall at the time, and that's where I got all. That's how I got into uh, Thunder Jets. Nineteen seventy one, seventy two. Right there. The Hobby Center. I bought every single one of my cars at that Hobby Center. He just can't stay away, guys. He just, he loves it so much. So that's my story of how I got into things. I wouldn't change a single thing in my, in my life. My, especially my youth. I, I had probably the funnest youth uh, uh, that I could possibly have. Um, I remember, so they were, they have these, what they call these like seats uh, and they were called brick seats. I think they're brick seats, but anyways, the, the brick facing of JC Penney's was being put up and they had this seat that they, I think they put bricks on. They would hoist it up to the, the thing. Well, so anyway, this is on a Sunday and everything. So we kids and I, we went to the, as the mall was being built, we got on this seat and pulled ourselves up. So I'm halfway up this, this seat and it, it gets stuck on the pulley. And, you know, I'm trying to jump like this to get myself down from this pulley. Oh, the things we did. And then I built this fort out of pallets. This thing was huge because there were hundreds of pallets at the other end of Franklin Park Mall by the where J.C. Penney's Automotive used to be, and now they've torn that down. And this is when J.C. Penney's was really a store, is when they had an automotive department. And then some some stupid idiot uh, became the CEO and got rid of all of the stuff that J.C. Penney's made J.C. Penney's. A lot of these, a lot of these chains, they they really J.C. Penney would not have a have. A, have approved of what's what happened to J.C. Penney's. He would have said, this is ridiculous because J.C. Penney's carried everything. When I, why, read his book, J.C. Penney's Cash. Read the book. I never read it, but I, I know, I know what he, what, what he thought. And same thing with Walmart. Walmart's going down the same road. If you, 
if you people think that these retail stores that are here to now will be here 100 years from now or 50 years from now, think again. Think again. Just saying, think again. Okay? Because there's one thing that's not constant, and that's retail. Amazon, you'll be, you'll be gone. Now, I might be wrong. Walmart might be here. But the way the track record is, okay, <laughs> somebody else will reinvent retail. Because what Amazon's doing is what Sears Roebuck did for, 50, for almost 100 years. What Walmart did is what uh, uh, Woolworths did for nearly uh, almost 80 years, 90 years, Woolworths did. Okay? So don't tell me, or, J or J.C. Craig, Craig, or Kresge. Kresge was my favorite store. All these guys had it, baby. They thought they knew how to do it. Don't think that, 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 that Amazon and Walmart have got the ticket. Because you know what? There's one thing that that is, 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 is unpredictable. And that is the consumer's mood. It can change like that. What, what, what happened to Kmart? Why couldn't Kmart compete? They were the largest retail in the country. Why, why? Because retail, the consumer changed. One generation. One generation. Don't tell me that that uh, that us baby boomers are going to be the same as the uh, uh, Gen Zers uh, fifty years from now. Oh yeah, all the big retailers is same. But what I'm saying is, J C Penney's, like he says here, J C Penney's, Sears, Montgomery Ward's, S S Kresge's. They're all gone, yes. And that's what I'm trying to tell you is that you think, if you think this modern retail, Walmart, Amazon, all these are going to be around in a 50 to 100 years, I wouldn't bet on it. <laughs> I would not bet on it. Okay, that's one thing that is that is uh, pretty much accurate about that. Okay, and that's all I have to say about that. Look at the big shopping malls. They are sinking too. Actually, what the big shopping malls, there's very few of them left that are actually successful. The outdoor shopping malls are doing a heck of a lot better. They're doing better, but they're still... But it's, it's you know, it's like the difference between Westfield Mall and Southwick up in Toledo. Right. I mean, you had, you had in the 70s, well, by 85, you had, let's, you had five malls in Toledo. You had Franklin Park Mall, which was the biggest and the best. You had then Southwick, which was supposed to be the Pinnacle Mall. It was built in the in the in the late 80s, 70s. Then you had Northwood, and then you had um, um, Northwood, and then another one was similar near there. All of those have been torn down. Even J.C. Penney's. Yeah, that's exactly it. Walmart were replaced by the next company. No, it's not the next company. It's the next guy that knows how to do it. And I believe, I believe, okay, so if, if somebody gave me $100 million to start a new chain, I know exactly how I would do it. There's one thing that I've learned, okay, in life is that nothing's, nothing ever changes, it's, it's always the same. Something, it might be renamed, but really nothing ever changes. And if you look at old videos of retail stores in the 1930s and the 40s, I would open up a store exactly the way they were built back then. Product, it, 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 and Kresge's had, had an art of this. They would had these big tables, and they would just pile the tables with merchandise. Okay. That's exactly how I would do it. Get away from these gondolas. I think the, the gondolas or the gondolas or oh, I can't say the word. You know, the shelving unit. It's are called shelving units. Okay, I think they're the worst thing for retail. Okay. And so when somebody thinks or how to do that, okay, which I I do, okay, we would you you'd be the next hit. See, that it's it's the next hit. 
and and ad adapt adapt adaptive ad adaptability is the key and a lot of these super chains can't do it I don't know why I'm talking about this let's see what do you say here around here is towers and Woolco they are cheap and then Walmart came in and took out both because they were cheaper well, see, and that was the fallacy, okay? Walmart was never really cheaper. It is how they, right over here, my friend, batteries. We just got in batteries. Thanks a lot, partner. Appreciate that. Um, we just got some more batteries for my, um, uh, uh, I bought, I got some digital, I got some batteries for my uh, Renegade brushless. So I have some new batteries. No, so what I was saying is that, um, uh, uh, go on, Mr. Young. <laughs> and so what I'm saying is that um, uh, it wasn't just, it wasn't that. See, for example, here's my, here, here was my, uh, uh, um, if I had a chance to talk to J.C. Penney's a year ago, I could have told them, okay, here's how you can become the number one retailer in the United States. This would have been my philosophy to them. Number one, create an app, the J.C. Penney's app. Super, call it Super Deals or whatever. Then get completely into uh, um, anything you can buy. Whatever you can buy, get it. Get a rid of, get rid of all the clothing. That you, if you want to have clothing, that's fine, but not. Don't make that your main staple, okay? Because back in the nineteen seventies, clothing was not. JC Penney's main staple, just so you guys know. That was my first credit card, was a JC Penney's card. And they had a complete hardware department, a complete toy department, a complete uh, appliance department, a complete furniture department. They carried everything. Okay, number one. And so they would have not shut down during the pan pandemic if they had food in there. <coughs> then I would create an app. And I would call it the, and, and get every woman you could to get that app. Because in that app is, is going to be your super deals for the women. Because women love deals. I love deals too. And they would get these deals saying, uh, 10 cases of toilet paper, $5. I'm just throwing numbers out. Or, or, uh, uh, um, um, uh, Diapers, a special deal on diaper. Then they'd get an email or a text message saying, hey, these diapers are on sale right now. Uh, a 50 pack for, for $9.99 or whatever. And then food, you know, a case of, uh, of uh, uh, um, uh, uh, you know, let's say tomatoes uh, or hunts or uh, 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 what do you call it? Um, Campbell's soup on a case of Campbell's soup, 50 cents a can. Is you and and you you stock your st store rack high. You don't just buy one or two. You case it. You just stack it in cases and with big nice stickers on them and big nice signs. So when people come in, they go, "Holy cow! What what kind of place is this? Oh, this is called the the deal place." Yep, that's how J.C. Penney could have been number one in the country, because it's a different way of doing something. And that's what I'm doing here, guys. That's what Professor Tinkers is doing right here, okay? Once we get going, once we really start moving, okay, we're going to be drawing people from 100 miles away to come to this place. Am I, am I, am I expecting it? Right now, it's slow today. Do you, you know, am I worried? No, because I know this is not a short-term game. In about, in about a year from now, is we're going to be so busy, I don't even know what to do. I'm not even going to know what to do, okay? I've got so much here right now, and it's like, oh, I am, I'm, I'm fully packed. I've, I've got everything in here for Christmas. We're all ready for Christmas. When Christmas comes, I've got model kits. We're gonna be, we are gonna be humming like a, like a, uh, uh, within an hour of me. But last year's products. I have two, uh, Mark Buck. I have two hobby stores within an hour of me. But last year's product, Brian, can you ever gone to sell your car 
at a slot car show. Ryan, have you ever gone to sell your car? No, I have not gone to a slot car show yet. I'd like to do that. That'd be kind of cool once to, to, to do a slot car show. But I'm just kind of telling you what's going on here is that, you know, uh, th this is a long-term thing, you know, and uh, um, I had a, uh, th the weather has really gotten me. See, I, uh, I injured myself when I was like 19, 21 on my shoulder here, and I've got arthritis here in the shoulder. And so when it changes temperature, like it was, it's gotten cold again, and then it was warm, it kind of... And I woke up this morning with a, just a massive, not a massive headache. You know, those kind of headaches that just, hello, everyone. Hi, Robert Fish. How are you doing? You know, those one of those headaches that just, you know, just linger all day long. It's not a throbbing headache. It just, it's just kind of like as a thump, thump. And that's what I'm having today. Just a, a thumping headache. And um, I don't think I could handle it if it was, uh, um, busy today um, tomorrow we're gonna have a a sale tomorrow i think i want to tell ryan we're gonna do a sale tomorrow when he's here but um we got so we got 29 viewers thumbs up 32 viewers that's that's uh pretty good pretty good pretty good um but anyway, those are my philosophies on uh, retail. Um, um, you know, it's, it's retail is, is, and maybe I've been doing it all my life. Um, uh, retail is not difficult. And maybe because I've been doing it all my life. I, I actually, I think it's fun actually. Okay. I really think it's fun, okay? You know, it's like this. It's like these things over here. It's like these, uh, it's like all these model kits I got. See, this is what I love. Okay, so a guy comes into the store. Look at, look at, he, he's going to see all these, look at these, all these model kits. Now, most retailers, okay, would get maybe one of these or maybe two of these, okay? They buy, they maybe buy one or two of these. Okay. I bought a hundred and eight because I got a good deal on them. Okay, so let's let's just kind of let's just kind of look at look at this kit. All right, just for the fun of it. All right, guys. So and obviously I'm trying to sell you something. Okay. So let's look at this double kit. All right. So this is the World War II icons. This is the USS DeLong and the LP or LCVP, all right? All right, so this is a double kit. Oh, wow. So you get the, you get the, uh, the uh, DeLong. This is the ship. I can't wait to put this together. I'll put this, when I get it together, I'll set it right here in the window. I'll set it right here in the window so everybody can see it. Okay, when we get it finished. Okay, then we get the LP, the LCP. And what's cool about this is you even get the guys. Look at this. You even get the guys right here. Check out these guys. You get like six guys that I'm going to paint. I'm going to show you how to paint people. This will be cool when I paint this. And I'll, and I'll set this here. Now, what's cool about this kit is... What's cool about this kit is that this model kit was like twice as, uh, the retail was twice as what I've got it, okay? Because I bought them. See, and this is what it's going to look like when I get it all painted. All right. And it, it was like twice the price that um, they retailed for. See, I used to buy all these Lindbergh kits with motor with motors. When I was in the Navy, I'd buy the the Lindbergh uh, Bismarck. They had the Bismarck, and I would I would I would I would I, I would build the Lindbergh because you could set them on a program. They would go like figure eight in the water. So I I'd, I'd put a light. I would put a cigarette lighter and I and I would light it. Okay, and so as the ship was remote controlling out into the 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 uh, 
the pond, all of a sudden the, the lighter would explode and it would be like the ship was exploding and all of a sudden this flame would shoot up and then the ship would keep going around and then all of a sudden it would it would it would sink and and it looked so cool because it would go down like a real ship you know the t the tail or the front would go first or the tail would go and I would do this because I I bought these model kits this was in the oh gosh 1980s uh, I was stationed in Connecticut and there was a hobby store there uh or no there was a hobby store there uh, what was the name of that it was in Groton Connecticut. Oh, shoot. Um, great guys, too. And I used to sell to them uh, when I got out of the... I, I actually used to go back there then when I sold for SCX and sold them S, uh, slot car stuff. Uh, I'm trying to think of the name of it. It's in Groton, Connecticut. Um, Lee's, maybe it was Lee's Hobby Center. Anyway, um, I'd get these model kits. Lindbergh, they had motorized kits. And I'd get... They'd, they'd have the Bismarck. They had the Iowa, the Hood, and... Uh, um, it was a lot, of fun. a lot of fun. So anyways, that's kind of what I do is, is I buy things lots of, okay. And, uh, and have, and another thing. So like this, these haven't been selling right now. Okay. And I know that I, I know that these are something that's just a long-term item. I got these at a great deal. And these are like, they're called pull. And you see the old video I did. These are like pullback cars, but this is like a game. Okay. And they're just fun pullbacks. I've got like four different versions. I've got, uh, uh, you know, it's just little stuff that people don't notice. And then I, I get lots of it. Okay. You guys have heard me millions of times about this. I just get lots of it. Okay. I have so much of it. The Tinbird. These have been selling little by little. I sold two of these last week. And I sold a one the week ago. These are just, I sold these at when I had, I told you this before, when I had Professor Tinker's workshop. Well, why are you putting those there? What are we going to do with those? I don't know. I didn't know whether or not you wanted me to keep them or throw them away. I don't really want to keep them. What am I going to do with them? Okay. We'll just leave them there now until we get it and, and we'll just uh, smash them all up. Smash them. Tim Bird. Timbo Bird. That's right. So uh, that's kind of my uh, thought here. Oh, boy. So um, yeah, it's a slow day today. We had three orders today. Holy moly. Where'd everybody go? Instagram, Ron Gardner. What's now uh, Ron Gardner? No. Ron Gardner sent me a picture about these little kids and their mom making food. They're getting it everywhere. They're just splashing it everywhere. Um, 33 people are watching. Wish we could get to a, a hundred constantly. I don't know, maybe one of these days. Oh. But that's my philosophizing today. Gene had a good question. What's the question? Lee's hobby. That's it. Lee's hobby. Yes. Nelson. Yes, exactly. Lee's hobby. Very good. Very good place. I used to go there all the time. I was in, in uh, Groton when I was stationed there. In the uh, 80s, I got there in 1980 in Groton. Yep, Lee's Hobby Store. That's it, Lee's Hobbies. I don't even know if they're still there. I think they are. I was there like a couple years ago. Man can, t the man can talk. <laughs> uh, hey, buddy boy, let's see. Yep, uh, hey, Clint, Clint, uh, hey, Mark, 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 Mark. Any catch racing last night? Yes, everybody watched it except for uh, Robert Fish didn't watch the racing last night. And again, I was victorious, Robert Fish, just so you know that the great Brian Young uh, won again. Tell us about new product development from Auto World. Okay, that's a good idea. New product from Auto World. Um, well, let's see. Um, let's see. 
let's pull out Brian Young, Pro Ticker Toys. Hey, Brian, how are you? Hey, here's Nelson calling from Connecticut. Yes, sir. I just watched your video right now. Hey, listen, the, the hobby show is Lee Toy and Hobby and Grossman. Yes. Yeah, I used to go there. The owner is T. He's my friend. Yes. His dad, his dad, uh, I don't know if his dad passed away, but his dad, he got it from his dad. Yeah, he died. Yes. Yeah, he died. Um, I, I, um, um, did they have the black car with the plane, the yellow plane, the one you showed last night? Yes. Okay, tell him, tell him, Union, save me one, send, send me the bill, please. I want to pay for that. All right, we'll have Ryan send you that to you, okay? And, and, and let it on Brian. I'm on the club for a long time, and I never, I never received my free membership lost car. Well, no, we haven't got that out yet. The club, the membership car will not be coming out until next year. So next year? Yeah, the 2022 car. Okay. All right. No problem. All right. And that's, that's coming. That's going to be a, uh, that's going to be the club car. I'm going to talk about that here in a minute. If you're watching, I'm going to be talking about all of our exclusives uh, <laughs> and uh, what's coming out next year, okay? Okay, I want to I want to do a nice order. I want a couple of stuff for you have. Yeah, just uh, uh, well, Ryan will be here tomorrow. All right. Oh, 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 oh okay. I watching in the club and the club and the member. I yeah. Watch the members. Yeah. Okay. All right. All right, Ryan. Thank you. Have yep. Bye bye. Bye. Okay, guys. So uh, that's Nelson in Connecticut. All right. So what is coming from Auto World? All right, um, let me get the price sheets. January, no, not January. February. Brian Young the Great, how can I help? No. No, no, get get him off and get the key and bring it in and hold on to it. Thanks. Okay, so, um, all right, so, um, and I mentioned about this last week, and we'll just kind of recap for new people here. So there are four new assortments coming out. Um, by Christmas, and that's the Trans Am De uh, Savage uh, in the Barracuda. This will be the blue Barracuda that uh, that SCX did. It's the number 42, or number 40, yeah. And then also Mark Donahue, the Sunco Camaro, and the Jimmy Hall. That's it for today. What did you say, sir? I said that's it for today. Great, thank you. Have a good day. Yeah, you too, buddy. And then Jim Hall... Uh, and that is the AMS, a AMC Racers Thunder Jets release number 32. Okay, and those will be coming out um, in June. That's the next current release that's going to come out. All right, so uh, are you getting more of the coffee? Yeah, we are getting more of the cartoon coffee mug, okay? All right, then we have uh, uh, Showdown Shootout in June, Battle of the De Dealership slot car set, and then the Semi-Frozen is July, but I think it's going to be August. It could be July. And then um, there's really no other uh, Thunder Jet or Extraction this year other than the Legends of the Quarter Mile SC361. Um, that's it for that. Now, we are going to have my exclusives, okay? Um, the four extraction chassis, which are going to be the, the pickup truck, the two Nomads, and the uh, red uh, um, the red Batmobile. That will be my exclusives coming out uh, between um, um, July and August. Now, I think 
that these four cars, okay, that one, this one, this one, and this one, I think they're going to be here earlier. Now, let me tell you why. Well, first of all, everything is done. The artwork is done. It's all over in China right now. Yes, we're going to be getting more of these display cases. And actually, I think we have about six of them in stock, okay, um, right now. And we're going to be getting more of these from Auto World. Now, so these are going to be the cars. We got the Batmobile, the Nomads, the Nomad. See, and that's the way it's going to look going to be yellow with uh, red, black with yellow flames, not red on the tips. Okay, and then we're going to have uh, the Batmobile and then the pickup truck. That's the only picture I don't have is the image of the pickup truck. But here is, uh, here is our SC or 7760, our Nomad. Okay, so those are the... Um, those are some things we're coming out. Now, we're coming out with some new items. Let me see if I can find the image of these, and then I'm going to show you what I am doing myself. Let me see if I can find these. So give me a moment here to do some quiet researching. All right, so Craig. All right, I found him. Okay, so I got these here. Let me save these. All right, let me print these, and I'll show you what I'm coming out. Now, I'm also, I also got Brian Young. Hey, Brian, it's Joey. How are you? I'm good, Joey. Hold on a second. Let me put you on speaker, or on mute. Okay, go ahead. Good for go what? What, what do they want? Oh. Well, uh, yes, I mean, we could pull, we could pull up, um, it's just that we don't keep everything online in the system because, um, it's a, it's a trick with consumers. You don't, for example, it, it, for example, if you don't want to put that you have 500 of something online, you say you have 20, because if you put 500, then a consumer is not in in, in the consumer is in, in a hurry to buy it. Oh, he's got 500. But if you put 20, you know, but I, I can do that. I can create a report if they want a report or what do they want? Yes. Well, I mean, it would be, I mean, I, 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 I mean, all I, I could just, if somebody wanted to audit me, I mean, I could show them from receipts of my files of, of that it's, it's, it's pretty close to that.
Right, all righty. Okay. Right. Right. Okay. What, that we have to have an account there? Well, no, I understand. No, I don't like any, I mean, it's not really a big deal. I just, do you have online? I mean, uh, where I'm going to be able to do online transfers and all that kind of stuff? Okay, well then just start start getting things rolling to get that account set up then. Well, how do you want me to show re? Uh, you, how do you want me to do, put it? You want me to just copy uh, uh, receipts, or what do you want me to do? No, not real. I mean, other than what's on our our. Uh, um, I mean, um, like eBay, I mean, I could, sh eBay, what does eBay show? It, like, for example, eBay says, based on my inventory of the quantities that I have listed on eBay, it's at 200,000. All right, all right, all right, all right, I know what you're doing. All right, it's gonna, I'll try to get that to you sometime next week. So when, okay. Correct. Okay, all righty. Yeah. All righty, thanks. Bye. Okay, so um, there are a couple things that uh, that I'm getting made. Okay, first of all, I bought a thousand of all the tires to all the cars. So I've got rear, front and rear tires coming uh, on Thunder Jets, Extraction, and Forge Gear. All those cars, I'm getting a thousand each of the tires, and I'm going to sell them in packs of ten. Okay. Or you, it'll be in groups of 10, 50, and 20. You can buy front tires, rear tires, and that's like in bulk. I'm going to be carrying them in bulk. I like things in bulk, okay? That's just, I'm a type of guy. Now, so that's one thing that, that we're coming out with, all right? The next thing that is coming out is the four-lane set. We don't have any updates on when that is coming out. I know that the four-lane set is going to be similar to the uh, I sent them a copy of what I thought a four-lane set should be, and that will be coming out. Um, that will be coming out uh, in um, close to November. Is their four-lane set? Also, their wire. The four-lane set will be wireless hand throttles. That's the same technology that's in there. That was in their um, um, 143rd scale set. That's the same technology that's in that is going to be in the in their. Um, four lane set and they'll have the first four lane terminal track. This will actually be a four lane terminal track. It won't be two, two terminal tracks where you flip the other one. This is a four lane terminal track. I told, I told them to make a four lane terminal track. Okay. And so that's going to be really big for guys that want to just do four lane, uh, a term or four lane layouts, which you have to do a figure eight if you're going to do a four lane so that each side is equal. Okay. Um, and the other thing that I'm getting made, um, and these are going to be exclusively to Pro Tinker Toys, which I think these are just going to be awesome. Now, this is just my opinion. I just think guys are going to, I, guys are going to eat these things up like crazy. Okay, um, and I'm going to show you what the, the of what one of the kits are going to be, 
And I just, I just think personally that they're just going to be a hit. I wait, wait for this last page. To, well, I, I can go ahead and show you the first two pages. So we're going to be getting, they're called deluxe pit kits. Okay. And um, we are going to have, uh, um, they're going to look like this. Okay. Now they used to have these out. Now, this is the original Thunderjet. This isn't a Ultra G. This is going to be an original Thunderjet pit kit. The complete car, completely taken apart, and you put the whole thing together, okay? Original tires, okay? We're getting, we're getting a ton. I, I, uh, I can't tell you how many I'm getting, okay? <laughs> but we're going to have a Bel Air. I think it's the Bel Air I asked him for uh, this. No, it's not the Bel Air. It's the, um, what car did I tell him to put in that? Oh, the, um, El Camino. It's going to be the El, white El Camino so you can do your own color scheme, okay? All right, so that's that. All right, so this is what it looks like, okay? That's what the pit kit looks like, okay? You actually build the car from scratch. And we're going to do one on the same thing. We're going to be doing the extraction and the four gear pit kit. There'll be three pit kits. The extraction is going to have the 55 Bel Air and the Nomad. I think uh, the pickup is going to be in the, uh, in the four gear. Okay. What's this say? Eli Camro. I don't know what's it. Moo. Elect. What is that? What word is that? Mark Buck. What word are you trying to spell? E. Camaro. Moon. El Camino. Yeah, El Camino. Well, could you just say it, El Camino? How long did it take you to write that? Okay, so these are going to be pit kits that I'm doing. And um, they're going to be exclusive, ProTinkerToy.com, okay? And that's another thing that I'm doing special, okay? And basically, this is the back of it. I think it's really cool. It shows you how to completely build a Thunderjet from scratch, okay? And then we're going to have races um, on a Thunder, an original Thunderjet, okay? And that's what the pit kits are going to look like, all right? And uh, this is what another item that I'm doing exclusively for me, okay? Uh, um, along with all these exclusives. These are all the tires and the pit kits, I think. Front tire, yeah, deluxe pit kit. Deluxe pit kit uh, uh, for um, extraction, Thunder Jet, and four gear pit kit. Deluxe pit kit. I can't wait till these come out. These are going to sell like crazy. I want three of each. Of course you do. You're probably going to want six of each. Okay. This is going to be another hit. And you know what the price are going to be on these? Oh, yeah. Completely total with the Aurora chassis. They're completely the same. Completely, guys. And you know what's crazy? The price on these things. I don't even want to tell you the price because, because I think it's pretty low, actually. Should I tell you how much they're going to be? Oh, my God, man. That's terrible. That's uh, too low. <laughs> what are you doing? Raise it at least $20. Well, it's not going to be $29.99, okay? It's not going to be $25.99, okay? They're probably going to be somewhere around $19.99 or less. <laughs> you don't want to know what I paid for them because I'm buying... All right, should I tell you how many I'm buying? Take my money. $13.99. I'd like them, I'd like them to be at $13.99, but I don't know if I'm gonna be able to keep them at $13.99. All right. Well, I don't want to say I'm the king of slot cars because SCX still hates me, okay? So um that's still going to be a, 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 a valley that I have to cross. Is that's that? Their loss. I know it's their loss. I know. Fourth mortgage on the house. Woo ha! Yeah, I know. 
All right, so we have those things coming out, all right? Now, and we have, so we have the exclusives that were coming out, which I already told you about, okay? Now we have the exclusives that are coming out between September and December of this year, okay? SCX can go scratch. Yes. Well, that's their fault. Not my fault. SCX, I can make them number one in America by next year, by 2022. So if you know anybody at SCX, if they want to become number one in the United States of America, let's see, $14 for a club member. If you want to know, I could do it by next Christmas, by 2022, they'd be number one. I'd bet 10000 on it. I'd put $10,000 on my whatever account they want to set up off my commission or whatever. All right, so the first thing that we're coming out with is CP778, 772, and that is the Bel Air Heat first box set. Oh, come on, people. Brian Young, Pro Tinker. Hello. Hi, Brian. This is Missy with Melissa and Doug. How are you? Hold on a second. Let me get you off of speaker. Yes, go ahead. I can hear you perfectly. Yes. It is, uh, it is going. It is uh, moving. Um, uh, see, just so you understand our model here, we are not... Uh, uh, in a hurry to, um, uh, how should I say, make the big sales to begin with. We are slowly growing and our in-store business is, is, is like 10% of what our online business is. You know, our online business is, is 90 and right now we're, and, but we're slowly growing. You know, like I sold like four of, uh, of the plushes a couple days ago or on Saturday. Our Saturdays are, 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 are doubling every, every Saturday. More and more people are coming in on Saturday. So it's a slow progression. And uh, I knew that was going to be. I, I just knew that as soon as it catches on, because we're preparing everything for Christmas. We're, we're getting everything ready for Christmas. You know, we're slowly building the numbers. And, uh, and I'm, I'm completely happy, you know, with where we're at right now. So... Um, but, but if there's always new something, there's something new, send me images so I can decide whether, yeah, I want to get into it. Um, because I'm all, Mm hmm Yes. 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 Yep. Yep. Yep.
I will. That's very good to bring up to me uh, because I do. And so uh, um, I will need a, uh, and so there's no change in the catalog then, right? All right, well, let me look through that. Uh, right. Right. Well, I appreciate that. Thank you. Okay. I will. Well, what is the, so what is the, what is the, 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 uh, the mood out there for the hobby stores or for toy stores and everything? Are they seeing demand too? Now, is it because it's wood? Most of your items are wood, though. So you're you're seeing the cost from wood from the wood standpoint. Right. No, I understand. Yeah. No, I understand. Got it. I will. No, that's a good I that's a good that's a good thing. Yeah, cuz I want to be I want to be fully stocked uh by July uh for my store. I I I really don't want to have to buy a lot in December because we have a lot of exclusives coming out. So I want to have my toy store fully full so I don't have to worry about buying anything and so I'll I'll overstock if I have to. So uh so if you could do me a favor and just, you know, put down a list of 20 items that you might have that you think I should o uh, overstock on, I would, I, I always take those that, uh, with, with, all right, do that. Yeah, do that. Thank you. All right. Yep. Bye-bye. Oh yeah. See, see, and this is what I, I knew this was going to happen. This could be on a, a separate, uh, uh, message about what's happening in the economy, but I don't want to go right there right now, um, but I do need to have a conversation with Auto World because um, I have a feeling, and and I hate to tell this to people, that I have a feeling the prices on on pl see plastic is going to go up, and the plastic has been pretty cheap for the last four years because well we had a president that knew what was going on, and I, I you know a lot of people say well I don't care you know. And I don't want to get political, but but I'm going to be political right this minute. I talked to somebody that says, well, I don't care about what Biden does. Well, you know what? Then why didn't you care about what Trump was doing? He was helping America. He was helping Americans work. And and right now they, 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 they say, well, I don't care what he does. Well, you know what? He's doing it. He's doing it. Okay. Drill, baby, drill. That's right. Well, we're not drilling in America anymore. And that's why gas is going up. You know, very simple people. But anyway, so let me get back on to what I was doing. All right. All right. So uh, the, the, the first thing we're doing is our Bel Air Heat, which is going to be our two cars, our 57 Bel Airs, and these will be Thunder Jets. One is blue that will say uh, uh, Tim's Art Studio. What do you need? What do you want me to do? We'll just keep on doing what you always do. Uh, I'm, I'm, it's 
finished. <laughs> you're, you tell tell me you don't know what to do. Oh my gosh, <laughs> the first time in five months you don't know what to do. <laughs> well, I put the put the pop guns up. Yeah, I know. I saw that. Um, all the cases are filmed. I grabbed forty four. I grabbed forty. I know. Go go through show. go through the uh, uh, fly again and the ninko because there's a ton of ninko down there that you might. You stock up half this Ninko down here. Okay. Just do that. Yeah, you might as well do that. Okay, and then uh, Tim's Art Studio, that'll be one of them. And then my favorite one is uh, Andre, or Adam's Meat Packers, and Andre's uh, uh, Auto Supply. And these two cars will be inside the Bel Air Heat Kit. All right? And this is the packaging for the Bel Air Heat. All right? And this is one of, of, of probably about five that we're going to do. And we're not all going to do Thunder Jets. We're going to do 55 Bel Airs. Uh, okay, so then the next car, or the next set, uh, again, this is all coming out between September and January. This is a lot of stuff, guys. So I just want you to know that you should get your, uh, your or things in order. Okay, so we're coming out with a match set of these are 1957 Bel Air and a Nomad. Thunderjet Extraction. Okay, both 57s. These are Nomads. 57 Nomad, 57 Bel Air. Blue with yellow flames. Yellow and red flames. All right, so this is another set that we're going to be coming out with. Only available at ProTinkerToys.com. I want to mention that. Only available at ProTinkerToys.com. Now, the next set is going to be the black with the Nomad. Okay. Both of these will be available. All right. Here, you want this? Here, 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 here. It has lines on it. <laughs> oh, what a novelty. <laughs> what a novelty, huh? Okay, so those are the cards. Then, this one, I, I don't know if it's going to sell very well, but I want to do this. Because um, I just want to see. I think it will sell. I, that's just my opinion. And that is the blue Shelby. Okay? With stripes. I just wish they had a little guy inside that. That's my only thing. Now, the next two, or the next two, are the, probably the most popular of the, of the series. Now, I think the Nomads will be, but... We can't do Nomads and uh, Bel Airs forever. Of course, people love them. So, I mean, uh, is uh, this car right here. Fastback, Thunderjet, with my birth date on it, 59. And then the one that I think is going to be the most popular of this series... Just like the uh, the truck, the pickup truck is going to be of this first series, is the 1969 El Camino Black with Yellow Flames. That is going to be hot. Hot. Okay, so those are the releases for this year as of this year now you're saying to me boy that's a lot brian you're not a kidding that's a lot it's a lot of commitment to me I, I i had to buy all this stuff i had to put deposits on all this all this i've paid my deposit okay and then there's another deposit that is due when i get the samples all right so when i get all the samples to these then i have to pay another deposit It's a lot of money, guys. Be happy there's not surfboards on the El Camino. You're you're right. Uh, that would have been cool, though, to put surfboards on the El Camino. That would have been neat. Now, here are here is my wish list or my my list of items that I put in for next year because they've been asking me brian you need to let us know what you want next year because it's going to get crazy 
So let me get this in sequence. So the first thing is the 2022 club car. And that is uh, going to be a 1955 Nomad, white with red roof, red flames going just to the front door. Just to the front door. It's going to be kind of quick flames. And uh, PTT club car on both sides of the front uh, door to the rear. And then on the back hatch is going to be PT22 club car. And then black rims with white, white, white walls. And this will be for club members for next year. And that's free. You get one club car per membership. All right. What, no Mopars? Well, if you just calm down, okay, I've got, I'm going through that, okay? The next thing is, the next car is we're going to do, uh, the Bel Air Heat number two is going to be these two cars. And then we're also going to do this blue and white, or white and yellow uh, 55 uh, Bel Air. Now, I was told I can't do this because they don't do the super bird, so I have to decide what I'm going to do. And we are so we're going to do two rigs. We're going to do this one and the KC Kane uh, uh, rig. Um, so that will be probably all red. That will look cool. And then we're going to do this one all blue. And this is the third Bel Air Heat Series. These two will be the third Bel Air Heat Series. And then we are going to do, um, I'm going to custom, I now the biggest expenditure for me next year will be buying my own mold for this car right here. I have to buy the mold, which I'll tell you the how much. Well, I'm not going to tell you how much the mold is. So I have to buy the mold, and I have to put money deposit on that. I have to buy all this stuff, guys. Some kids came in my newsstand, or came in here last week, or actually came in Monday or Saturday, and said, you must be rich. No, I'm not rich. I won't say that I'm well do or well to do. I just have been prudent over the last ten years and been spending my money correctly. And um, I, I am. How do I want to say this? I'm in a perfect opportunity to, for the love of Mike, dump the number of on the doors of the Mustang. Write your name over the doors. Like NASCAR does, right? Uh, all right, Robert, send me a send me a description of what you mean. Write my name over the door. All right. Obviously, Robert Fish doesn't like numbers on cars. Okay. Well, show me what you mean by my name over the door. Uh, you should do. Uh, yeah, you should do a Bill Clinton El Camino special because you know what he did in the back of it. <laughs> I don't know if the trucks will have lights. Whatever they came up in the original kits, I'll be getting that. And so what I told these kids was, and you know, I'm not rich, but you know, I have to pay for all, everything in this building is paid for. Okay. We'll do 10,000 James Murray. What do you mean? 10,000 going to be 30 K for a, no, it's not 15. A brand new mold is 15. Mike's here. For the love of Mike. Just try that. If you swear a lot, if you swear a lot, just try saying for the love of Mike a couple times. Just say for the love of Mike. And you'll see how fun it is. Actually, it actually it, it's actually it, it's actually funner. You'll you'll it better, everybody will be a, a big kick. Oh, it'll be a big investment, all right. Buying that mold for that Hemi under the glass is an is an investment. I'll own it. I will make money from Auto World because Auto World's going to want to buy that mold. Fish, you're killing us. Okay, what is fish? What is fish doing? 
What is fish doing, guys? We'll do. I don't understand what fish is doing. So that is a nutshell what I'm, this is my auto world file. See how thick it's getting? It gets thicker and thicker every time I decide to do something new. You could say to yourself, well, Brian, why are you doing this? Well, first of all, I have a, I have a very mild headache that has not gone away. It's just, it's there, okay? And um, it's just not going away. It's because of this weather. It stinks for the love of Mike. No, Race Masters. Okay, yeah, yeah, here we go. Race Masters has got five cars coming out, but I haven't heard any updates on that. But let me send an update to Race Masters. Brian, I need... I need to start setting up these on our system. All right, I just sent Race Masters uh, for an update. Uh, same here, Bob, Robert. Uh, Race Masters must be a fly-by-night operation. No, they're not a fly-by-night operation. Let me explain. Let me explain. I don't know if it has to do with uh, uh, funding or, or what. I mean, they're... they're, they're they're trying to uh, manage it in a, in a very neat format, okay? I just personally think that they could uh, do things a little bit different. To, uh, and and um, But I, I guess they want to do it their way. So you got to let them do it their way. And um, I want to do it exclusive with him. I, but um, Steve hasn't gotten back with me. So I'm waiting for him to get back with me on what cars are available to do um, Hey, who is this Doc Hip Hop? Do you know who Doc Hip Hop is? Is he watching Doc Hip Hop? No, okay, I wish everybody would understand this, and, and, I, and I get that you guys don't. Race Masters and Auto World, I've never seen that name before on here. Well, I've gotten these emails called Doc Hip Hop. 
about cars, and he must be doing these himself. And I, some of these are really nice. Um, okay, so, and I've said this, even said this last night at the races. Okay, there's two races: guys that like speed. Okay, and that's race masters. Sealed motor it is not even compare to Auto World. Okay. Oh, oh, you know why they hate Auto World? I'm telling you right now, people, it's the purists. Matter of fact, I got an argument with uh, uh, um, Bob Malta, a nice guy. I love Bob Robert Malta, and Bob Beers. Okay, but these guys are purists. They don't think you should. They don't think anything is is worth buying unless it's an original Aurora. Well, you know what? Original Aurora went out of business in the 1980s. And thank goodness for Tim Lowell to come out with Auto World, or we wouldn't have any of this stuff nowadays. But everybody's a purist. Oh, we've got to have race. We've got to have race masters. Or, or we've got to have original Aurora. Give me a break. They make the most detailed cars, I'm telling you. Auto World makes a great car. All right, I don't care what anybody says. You know, I frankly don't think they're correct. Now, that's my opinion. And, 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 uh, uh, oh, yeah, original Aurora is thousands. Oh, now all of a sudden, okay, now I'm getting an ocular migraine. So this is the progression of my day. All right. <sighs> All right, can I explain to you how race map? All right. Okay, let me tell you the history. Okay, Steve Russell's dad worked for Aurora at the AFX division, which is Aurora Factory Experimental in that division. Okay. Now I don't know if you, I don't know if Steve told me that. I think Steve said that his dad is the one that started the AFX division. Uh Aurora Factory Experimental. I don't know if that's the whole case. Okay, so when Aurora went out of business, Tommy bought the rights to AFX. All right? Not the whole company, Aurora. Just AFX. Factory, Aurora Factory Experimental. And so uh, Steve's dad, Steve is the current owner of Race Masters, created race masters for United States, a division. And then Tommy let them license it in the United States, okay, from the 1990s. And then Tommy made a lot of this stuff in China, Japan too, believe it or not. There are a lot of Japanese uh, AFX cars made by Tommy in the 1980s, and they are sweet cars. Too bad a lot of them didn't come to the United States. Beautiful cars. Then Steve's dad passed away, and then Steve took over the company. And in 2000, 2001, they kind of redid a, they did a complete redo of the cars, okay? They kind of made uh, a complete new chassis, all right? Uh, they wanted to get away from the old uh, um, Turbo and Super G. They wanted to get away from that. And that's when they came out with Mega G. They, they wanted to go even faster, I'm telling you guys, it's all about going faster and faster and faster and faster and faster. Now, that's fine. Okay, then yeah, the Super G Plus chassis were really good. They were. You, you, there's a point, though, when you're going so fast. Okay. I have a China connection for... Well, then call me, Scott. If you have a connection for... Okay, whoever this Scott is... If you have a connection with slot cars uh, in China, you let me know right now. You call me right now. My number is 419-575-3776. And I'll have my own cars made. It's almost 3 o'clock. Where did the time go today? I got an ocular migraine. Okay, I'll email him. I'll email him. Yeah, please do. And call me too. I just have to have him call you. Looking at all the slot cars bring 
me back to my childhood, Chucky B. Any chance of a live stream in the shed tonight? Adam, are you kidding? <laughs> I want to cry. <laughs> I've had a headache all day today. I had to run. Okay, see you later, Graham. I've had a headache all day today. So many folks rip on Auto World. I know. I don't know why. And that's why I do not rip on Auto World. I think Auto World is the greatest slot car company in America right now. Okay? And if you if you if you just give an Auto World a chance for their price has not gone up in, 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 in a whole 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 a whole heck of a lot. $29. Give me a break. Yes. Is anyone making pins and connectors for old? Uh, I have a ton of it. Well, give me a call. For the price that they made these chassis, okay? And they're trying to improve all the gears. They're trying to do it, okay? But, you know, it's, it's again, where's the hobby? Where's the fun, okay? Like Tim and I, we were just having fun racing last night. Get about a bunch of guys and just race. Because it's not all about speed. It's how well you drive the car. I don't know what to tell you guys anymore. I've told you a hundred times. Hey, Brian, you got to turn that music down. Sorry. It, I don't know if licensing are going to be, if they're going to nail me for that. Well, what you're hearing in the background, like most radio stations and talk shows, <laughs> is uh, Cusco, which is a... Uh, Interesting group out of South America. Yes, I, I love them. So, yeah. So, giving credit where credit's due. There you go. No licensing problems. Oh, I tell you, I, <laughs> I, this was a very interesting day. We got nothing done. We've had no sales today. Okay. I would be there, but I don't like uh, the border will be open. I don't know how many people are going to come, honestly, for the slot car fest. We're just going to oh, we're just going to get the tent, set track up, uh, and have model buildings, model rockets, and just have fun, you know, guys. Oh my goodness! I'll be there. So anyway, uh, today's just kind of been one of those uh, crappy days. Well, first of all, Auto World is not the company that was in the 70s, okay? 
Auto World was another company, and Tom Lowell bought the rights to Auto World uh, because Auto World was like a store back in the 60s and 70s. Uh, and um, I learned a lot, though. Uh, well, I appreciate everybody watching today. Today wasn't really a, a really interesting day. We've had four, 38 people, 41 thumbs up. At least I wanted to um, um, talk about uh, what is coming out. Uh, okay, I deal with a guy named Oscar. They do have an awesome catalog. I met Tom Lowell about 10 years ago. I wanted to work for the company. Actually, I told him I should be a salesman because I, I'd love to sell your stuff to hobby stores. And then about five years, well, no, 2014, 2013, I approached him saying, hey, I'd like to be your salesman around the country. I could sell your stuff to anyone. And um, never happened. And then I... Um, I don't know what happened. It was 2017, 2018. I, I, good afternoon, uh, Matt. I, I contacted Auto World because they, I don't know how it happened, but I, I called them and said, Hey, I'd like to talk. So do you have any race sets that you're trying to get rid of? And Craig, uh, Ludquist, which is my contact, my main guy I talked to, nice guy, real nice guy. He, um, he said, I've got four sets that we're trying to get rid of, uh, Back to the Future, Ghostbusters, um, the F or the Indianapolis, the Petty and Baker, and the Zombie set. Five sets. They had five sets. And I said, Well, how much of this stuff do you want? How much pricing? And this was 2014. And I didn't, I didn't have anywhere to put this. And this is before I was selling, I was selling some on eBay, but not a lot. And um I was really doing a lot of work for um, um, Dan, the rubber band man. I was doing a lot of trade shows for him. We didn't have the website. I was just selling eBay, a little here and there. And I thought, well, if I bought all these sets and put them on eBay, and I just sell them a couple sets a month, and that'd be great. I, so I bought $25,000 worth of sets, okay? This was back in 2017. $25,000. I had money in the savings. And I said, you know what? I'm just going to spend all this money on these sets. It's kind of like an investment. And I bought my red sea container that you see at the house. And I put all the sets in that sea container. Do you know how many of those sets I have left? Less than a hundred. And I had over 300 sets. That was really the seed money for this store, really. Because I wouldn't be able to survive if I didn't have all those sets to sell. And so that's how I really got started with Auto World. And then, you know, last year I came to him and said, hey, you know, let's do an exclusive. And um, this thing's just taken off. It's it's kind of it's kind of exciting. It's it's nervous, nerve nerve wracking. I mean, there is a lot of pressure. I mean, I gotta, you know. 
I don't think I'd go out of business. I mean, these exclusives are, are going to sell. I, I can almost guarantee, I told them the banker, I went to the banker because I wanted to get a line of credit. And they don't have any problem with giving me a line of credit, just tell you. But I told him, I said, these four cars are coming out and they're probably all going to sell out within 30 minutes. This one's going to sell out before we know it. Then I think it's going to be this one, this one, and then this one. Or these two could sell out at the same time. What do you think, guys? Do you think this is number one? Forty-eight minutes. <laughs> because it was how how long did the Bel Air take to sell out? Uh, oh, five or six minutes. It went that quick. Okay, then I will say uh, twenty-seven. And a but half. we're not selling them in the case anymore. We're only selling them individually. You can only buy one at a time. There'll be a six limit on the club site, and then twenty-four hours later, they're going to go on the regular site. The truck is going to be your best seller. Yeah, you could be right. We don't, it'll sell twice, twice as fast. <laughs> See, and that's what's so, that is what's so exciting is that we've got this many people that are excited about, uh, yeah, go up soon. Watch club memberships go up soon. Oh, I, oh, sure. I, I bet club memberships will go through the case. And see, here's what you have to understand. It's all about supply and demand. The more club memberships we get, the more cars I can do. People, people all over are talking about that truck. Well, you know what? That's what I want them to do. I want everybody to be talking about the truck. I want everybody to be talking about this truck. <laughs> okay. All right. You know what, you guys? You, you're just killing me here, okay? so much track in that set that I have to sell now. These are not going to be cheap, guys. Okay? I'm not, I can't give these cars away. All right? I have to try to... I have to run some numbers. But we're going to offer these, starting these tomorrow. These will be started tomorrow on the club site only. Okay? The pickup and the Bel Air. All right? These will start tomorrow. But I got to figure out what price. Don't give up, Rob, if I can. She said, I, I see why you like them. They are genuine. What do you mean, genuine? I don't understand. My wife watches the race last night. We were on vacation. She had no choice. <laughs> Did she like the race? So, um, I'm exhausted. Oh, boy. Are you still on? You're still on? I'm going to get like, off. Trying to say goodbye for like the last five minutes. I know, I got to get off. Uh, everyone have a great day. Everybody have a great day. See you, Brian. Have a great day. See you later, alligator on the way. Snide, cry, crocodile. 
Uh, Brian, you should sell sponsors on your on your car. I'll sell anything. <laughs> she loves it. She uh, she wanted to pick out the car in the race. That's good. We want to just be a, f a place of fun, you know, just a lot of fun. We have 42 people, 45 thumbs up. For some reason, people like this episode. I um, I guess that, that they like me talking. Um, bye, guys. See you later. Everybody, out amigos, amigos, see you later. Um, Nelson, see you. Uh, uh, Scotty B, Sc Chucky B, Matt, see you. Adam, see everybody. Hasta la vista. Uh, no millennials. That's right. Love you buddies. Uh, thanks a lot, everybody for watching. Have a great evening and we'll see you tomorrow. Big day tomorrow.